Good day, folks, and welcome to the IT Way. My name is Joanne, and today we're going to kick off these sections in our YouTube channel about everything that Syscom Rack is bringing to the table and to the customers. So this video is a part of the episodes that we're going to continue doing every month to bring out all the new products, new features, new licenses, and any new firmware that Mirac is bringing to enhance the even the portfolio that they have of any features that are going to come up to bring the portfolio stronger. So we're going to cover all the aspects that we have been seeing of Cisco Recaps launch from the last month in this video. And stay tuned so you can see any kind of videos like this one in next month onwards for to cover everything that they're going to bring out to the table afterwards. If you like, if you're more interested in how to configure the features, how to configure the devices, or how to install the firmware and even how to troubleshoot. We have a section for a Cisco Meraki training videos. You can reach out here and you can see it, or you can go down below in the description box and you can see the links where you can go all the aspects from basic configurations from the features or even the troubleshooting automation through the API. So if you want to be more efficient, just click there and you will see it. So coming to our sections now, we're going to go through all the different parts to see what Meraki is bringing to us. So let's see. Now we're going to start with the new products that Cisco Meraki launched last month. And we're going to start with the access points. As you can see here, we have three different access points. We have the MR46E for external antennas. We have the MR76 and we have the MR86. With these three new access points, we're going to bring the Wi-Fi 6 for the Meraki to the next level. So we're going to check on them to see what are the difference between them and see which one is the most suitable for you. So let's check it out. We will start with the MR46E. It has one radio for 2.4 gigahertz and one for five gig as well. It has the independent radio for WIDS and WIPS and a Bluetooth radio as well. This AP has a 3.5 gigabit per second max rate thanks to the four by four and the four special strings of multiple MIMO. It has the OFDMA with beam forming as well. It has an interface of 2.5 multi-gigabit Ethernet port, and this AP will provide the similar specs you have in the MR46 for indoors, but now this one has the external antennas for it. Coming now to the MR76, this AP has the same radio as the previous one. The difference in the radios is the 2x2 two two and the two special streams for multiple MIMO. So with that, the max rate goes down to 1.7 gigabit per second. So this HP, since it's an outdoor, it has the four end type connectors for the external antennas. The main element for this AP is the rock industrial design for outdoors. It has an IP67 rated water and dusted sealed. This device is a bit similar to the MR36, but with a better speed and the outdoor capability. This AP is very good for outdoor campuses, industrial environment, and point-to-point -point links. Finally, we have the MR86. So this AP brings the capabilities of the MR76 that we saw earlier, a bit higher, bringing the same number of radios, but now with a 4x4 and 4 special streams for the multiple MIMO, increasing the speed to 3.5 gigabits per second. The interface will bring higher speed as well as reaching to the 2.5 gigabits per second just with one Ethernet port. If you like to have the highest performance with Wi-Fi 6 with multi-gigabit for thof RF and high density environments, this is your AP. So this device will bring similar capabilities as the indoor MR46, but with a rugged industrial design and outdoor environments for its four end type connectors for external antennas. And products is not the only new thing for the Wi-Fi for the wireless products in Cisco Meraki. They're going to bring a lot of new features now that are available for you. And one of them is the WPA3. So now we know that we use WPA2 for a long time. Now we have the version 3. With this one, it's going to have a more security, a better strength in the authentication that we're going to have, better cryptography strengths, the way of the increase of the security that we're going to have. But something that is going to be very important for you is that not all the Cisco Meraki APs are going to be available for this feature. So please take a look at the documentation. I'm going to put it below for, for you to ensure that the devices that you have are capable of this feature of the WP3. And not just that. So we're going to go through the wireless health to see what are the news in this aspect. Let's take a look. 
Meraki Client Health is a suite of tools and analysis to assist wireless administrators by providing each client's unique perspective of connectivity to the wireless LAN, allowing network administrators to drill down into client issues and have visibility into the connection state of a single wireless client. The Client Performance tab will show you all the metrics around that specific client. There are a few toggles that can be used to view performance metrics for a given period of time. A specific SSID, specific AP that the client is connected to, or select the GIF band, for example, 2.4 or 5 gig of both. The usage graph shows the bandwidth consumption of the client in the specified time range across all APs. The signal quality graph will show you either the RSSI or the SNR value for the client in the specified time stamp. The average wireless latency graph will measure the latency seen for all the packets across the wireless medium for the selecting client device. AP channel utilization will be the channel utilization seen on the AP to which the client is connected to in the selecting time span as well. The AP usage graph shows the utilization of the AP over the selected time. Another cool feature that the access points will have now is the upgrade and the strategy. So if you're familiar with the firmware upgrades, you just go to the dashboard and select the upgrade that you want to do and the time, and it's going to do it completely to all the access points. Now we had before with the switches that we have in scheduled firmware, where you can select a bunch of a group of switches that you wanted to upgrade first. And after that, you can have an allocated to ensure that you have the minimum downtime in your network. But good news. So now we have almost the same, a similar situation with the access points. So we have a strategy where you just select that option in the dashboard and put all your access points under that. What, it does, what it's going to do now is it's going to intelligently take a group of access points based on the active clients that you have. And it's going to ensure that there is always an access point nearby. So your clients can roam seamlessly while we are upgrading all the access points. So it's not going to upgrade all the access points at the same time. It's going to use different groups to intelligently ensure that your clients are still connected. And that's, that's a cool feature that we're going to have now. Another cool feature that is coming to the Cisco Meraki dashboard is the end bar. NBAR is a very advanced application recognition, and it's going to be now with our layer 7 firewalls and throughout the whole dashboard. So that this is a very good news. So before, if you remember, you can go to the clients, and you can see just a different parts of the applications that the clients was using, but it was not completely detailed. Now with NBAR, that it has more than 1,400 different applications recognitions already in the database, you're going to see the change. You're going to see specifically what is the application that these clients are using, and not just that. So you can go now to layer saver firewall rules and you will see a more detailed applications that you can use to block or allow at any time. So this is going to bring a lot of help, and a lot of easy tasks then for us to block any kind of traffic that we want or allow any kind of traffic at that moment. Regarding licenses in the Cisco Meraki world, we already know a few months ago that they're trying to make these transitions from the real contamination that was the previous um, way that they were having to create these kind of licenses or expire the license between devices, which is all the devices combined, just one expiration date. And they made these transitions to now per device licensing. So if you are not aware of that, you can go to the link below in the description so you can understand the difference between the two. But now they're creating new licenses for the devices. And the first one now that we know is from the security appliance. So we know that previously we have just the enterprise, which is just a regular firewall for auto VPN features. And we have the advanced security, which includes the firewall with the AMP and IPS IDS. So after that, a little bit, they created the insight for the variety of insights. We have new licenses for that. For now, we have the SD1 Plus licenses. Here, you can see all the difference between the three different licenses. And now we're going to have the, all the AMI Health, the One Health, and the VOB Health inside of this license all together, as well with the AMP and IDS and PS. So it's a little bit of the enterprise with advanced security and a little bit more as well. And there is going to be something that is, I think, that is interesting, which is the internet breakout. There are going to be new features coming on, which includes this license. So stay tuned to see what else they're going to bring in for the SD1 Plus license. Now moving to the new firmwares that Cisco America has bringing in this month, we have for the MXS and the MR. Unfortunately, we don't have any firmware coming from the stable version, but we have the stable release and the beta version as well. 
So for the stable release for the Max, we have the 14.42, and for the beta, we have the 15.31. Be careful with the beta version of the MX with the 15.31 if you're using the VPN settings for DES or DES because it's not supported anymore, as well with aggressive mode. So if you're using aggressive mode for this beta version, it's not supported for creating a VPN tunnel. So be aware of that. For the MRs, for the products, we have the stable release version of 26.8 and the beta of 27.1. 27.1 is the real deal. So I recommend you to upgrade to this firmware version if you want to take a look to all the different features that we talk about now, or if you're going to see the new features that are going to coming up. So you're going to go to the organization, firmware upgrades, and you can upgrade your devices over there. And those are all the features, the new products, and the new firmwares that we cover in this video. And stay tuned because there were a lot of information for this month. Probably I'm going to do a next video with all the remaining parts that we didn't cover in this one. And if you want to stay tuned, please subscribe to the channel and click the like button so you can stay tuned for all the things that are coming forward. If you are more interested in configuring features or troubleshooting automation through API, you can go here or go in the description below for you to keep going for all the videos I'm going to post it weekly. And that's all the information that we have for Cisco Meraki highlights now. See you in the next one.